Okay, problem number 38 is a binomial theorem expansion on a fifth degree binomial. So we're going to have to have a little bit of space here, but we're going to start here with our combination work. And of course, our first term always starts combination, our exponent, 0, C5, 0. Then we use our full allotment of 2x to the thirds. So I've got 2x to the third, all of that to the fifth, but I don't need to use any y's here. My next, my next factor in this term would be negative y to the zeroth. So I just move on down the line. Next term becomes C5, 1. I reduce my number of 2x to the thirds. So 2x to the third, now only using four of those. And my fifth factor, see there will always be five factors. My fifth factor here is going to be one of the negative y's. Negative y to the first. Easy enough. And we just continue with this progression. Plus... C52 times how many 2x to the thirds? Right, 3. But if I have 3 of these, I need to have 2 of these. So I need 2 of my negative y's. Plus C53 decreasing my 2x to the cubes yet again. 2x cubed. Now we're down to a pair of those. So we need to balance that with three of the negative y factors. Plus c5, 4. And 2x to the thirds down to just a single one of those. 2x to the third, but four negative y's, until I wrap up with c55 Don't need any 2x to the thirds here, but I need all of my possible negative y's. So there's our expansion. No one hard thing, just a lot of easy things. So a lot of opportunities for little calculation mistakes here, but we're going to be careful. Um, to find my combinations uh, on five, I could go to fifth row of Pascal's triangle, or I could enter C5s, C51, C52 into our calculator and such. But I'm going to be using from my memory Pascal's triangle. Um, C anything zero is one, so my first term becomes one times. I need... 2 to the 5th, that's 32, and I need 5 groups of 3x's, 5 groups of 3, 15x's, plus C anything 1 is the, is the top number, so C71 would be 7, C121, 12, CN1, and C51, 5, times... 2 to the 4th, 16, x to the 12th, and a negative y, which is going to make my second entire term uh, negative. Plus, C52, if you don't know anything about combinations, and I put 10 down here, you're going to think we just multiply the numbers right now, but, but that's, of course, not how we find combinations. C52 is 10. I need 2 to the 3rd, 8. I need x to the 3rd to the 3rd, x to the 9th. And I need a pair of negative y's, but of course that's just positive y squared. Plus, c53, 10. See, I told you we don't just multiply them. Times a pair of 2's, 4. A pair of x to the 3rd's, x to the 6th and three negative y's, which makes this term negative. Plus, 
C5, 4. C5, 4 is 5 times 2x cubed times negative y to the fourth. The, the y gets absorbed, or the, the negative gets absorbed, excuse me, y to the fourth plus C5, 5, 1. How many groups of 5 can I get from a group of 5? Just 1 times negative y to the fifth. All right, so a little calculator work here, perhaps. 32x to the 15th. My next term, I've got a plus, but ultimately times a minus is going to be minus 5 times 16, 80 x 12s and a single y. My next term plus 10 times 8, another 80. This time x to the ninth, y to the second. My next term it starts out positive, but ultimately gets multiplied by a negative. So you see, we toggle back and forth between plus and minuses here. I get 10 times 4, 40. X6 and Y to the third. My following term, plus 10. X to the third, Y to the fourth. I need to buy a little wider smart board. And my final term, plus times minus minus y to the fifth. So there is our fifth degree expansion. Notice we end up with one, two, three, four, five, six terms, not just five terms. Okay.